Good morning, new tonight. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. We have an HP Pavilion 15-inch laptop that we're going to be changing the RAM out in. This laptop came with four gigabyte of RAM. We're going to be increasing it to an eight gigabyte. So we're doubling the amount of RAM. This allows this computer to run, you know, the process is a lot faster. The first thing we have to do is power this behemoth down. Now, this is an entry level laptop. There's nothing fancy about this thing whatsoever. Uh, we just needed it to do the most basic function that we could get a laptop to do. So now that the uh, laptop is off, we have to turn it over. We're going to take the battery out first. Uh, pretty simple thing to do. Slide the locks. Well, push it out. Battery's disconnected. You don't want power running through the uh, laptop while you're doing this. There are going to be a few screws located around the bottom side of the case here. Unscrew the screws. Now that we have the six main screws removed, we need to remove the CD drive. CD drive is simple. We've already taken the screw out for it. You just pull it out. It's an entire drive system. The next thing to do, there are hidden screws amongst some of these uh, rubber feet. So we have to pull the rubber feet off and uh, expose the screws that may exist. So there were four screws, one, two, three, and four. Now we flip the laptop over, facing forward, open the laptop up. In between, there is a groove here. Uh, we snap this groove up. Pretty simple task here. This area here. Got some snaps. Use a pry tool of some sort. Now that we have it broken loose, fairly simple task to pull it the rest of the way out. Close the laptop case. Then the back comes right off, exposing the actual computer. All right, to remove the RAM, just pull out on these tabs right here. The RAM will automatically flip up by itself. You pull it out. Simple enough. For putting the new RAM in, they only can fit in one direction. Find the corresponding holes, push down, the job is done. Now it's time for reassembly. All right, so now it's time to put the case back on. Simple enough, squeeze it into place. Let's turn it over and make sure all of our clips are pushed down like this should be. Now 
enough for putting the screws back in. I'm going to start with the four hidden screws. We're very fortunate that all the screws are the same size on this particular laptop. Then we'll start placing the six screws. Slide the CD drive back into place. Tighten them down. Now that we have all the screws back into place, I'm gonna use some basic super glue to put on the back of the feet here. Not using much, they still have a little bit of stick left to them. Just need enough to hold them into place. Choose to use super glue because it dries so much faster. Now we reinstall the battery, lock it into place. It's good to go. With the battery installed, we flip the laptop over and hit the power button. Now with the PC booted up, let's open up the About section and see our new RAM. We now have eight gigs of RAM. Now keep in mind, this is a low grade laptop. All right, so now we've installed our eight gigs of RAM in our HP Pavilion 15 inch laptop. Now this was a basic laptop to begin with. All that we needed to do was run a printer now that we're going to be asking this laptop to do a little bit more things, we need a little bit more RAM. We really need to do a lot more upgrades, but the computer's not worth a whole lot of upgrades. So with the eight gigs now, the computer can process the, the tasks that we ask twice as fast in theory. Uh, but if you like today's content, please like, subscribe, and until next time, stay safe.